So it is almost time for bed and another late night it was. Got some updates, some fun dates, some something dates. So let's go. So it is the ninth entry into the 90 day vlog marathon for changelings. Today there was some movement on the special effects side. I started reaching out to some friends of mine who are in the uh, horror world uh, looking for special effects supervisors or, or special effects makeup artists and I did manage to get a submission today. So that's good news. So that's good news. I definitely want to start talking to special effects artists as soon as possible because the sizzle, even though there's only one or two shots of uh, some serious special effects work. It really, it really has to sell, I think, the moment. And so I think the, the better prepared uh, we are, obviously the better the product will uh, become. So I wanna start talking to a makeup artist now because I suspect that pulling off the, the couple of effect shots that I wanna pull off for this is all, are gonna take a lot of work. Uh, my guess is those two or three shots will probably take um, you know, half my effort and money, whatever money I can allocate for this, because it can't be much. Special effects and visual effects are two areas that I'm not well versed in. I'm just a little um, out of my depth with, uh, especially visual effects and computer graphics. I have not been able to find a company so far that deals with air whips. I th that might be something that I have to uh, construct myself. The air whip is uh, an old special effects technique that was that I remember from John Carpenter's thing and how it works is you attach a compressed air tank or a, or a compressor to a uh, pipe and then at the end of the pipe is a thin hose and then you turn the pressure on, it just whips around like crazy. You, you can coat it in whatever you want, like uh, blood for instance, or maybe some black goo. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's just that what, what the, the effect is something so visceral and disgusting and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Alien, I suppose, is, is, the right, is the right phrase, that I really want to replicate this effect for changelings, it's, especially for this sizzle, because I really think it's going to sell the, the feeling, uh, the tone, really, the sort of bizarreness of the world that, uh, that the changelings exist in, the tear. And so that's moving forward. I might have to make a trip to Home Depot in the next uh, few days here to see if the, you know this, to see if I can find the necessary parts to even test out this idea if I have to build it myself. Uh, so I'll keep you up to date on that. And if I do buy the stuff and build it, I will record it here and show you how I did it. Um, that should be interesting. I wanted to give a special shout out today to Dave Parker who put me in touch with the special effects makeup artists and for helping me uh, suss out where I might be able to find some of these air whips, which it turns out it's probably going to have to be custom built. So thanks to Dave Parker uh, for helping me out with that today. He is a horror director, and he did a really good short on this Halloween compilation that you should check out. I'll put a link below in the description, uh, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cool compilation of, of uh, short horror stories. And I think he, his was the clown one. Yes, his was the clown one. It's, I think it's one of the best shorts in there. So check it out. Check him out. Thanks, Dave. I spoke to Jason Kaufman today, the composer for the music of the sizzle for Changelings. And we started going over the track and the, what, what track I think best epitomizes the, the, the tone uh, and pacing that I want for the sizzle. So we're going to start working on that. Uh, I'm really excited to hear what he can come up with. And he's such a good musician and he's so humble. He apologized for not having you know, some state-of-the-art recording studio to record and, and to compose this uh, sizzle track. But you know, quite honestly... I think that it's great. You know, he's gonna we're, it's gonna have its own unique sound. We'll record it in his music room. I'm sure it's gonna sound amazing. I think it's okay that if we don't have state of the art everything. I think that uh, you know this is the it's a short film. We're making this on a shoestring budget, so we have to cut corners. I mean, it's just kind of the way it goes. And I think that it could probably give us some creative limitations that might make the music better. You know, maybe maybe by virtue of it being rougher and maybe there's more echo uh, in, the, in the soundtrack, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, the room tone, there's too much reverb in the room, who knows? But it could come out better, it could come out more raw, and I think that could really work. You know, I was thinking about it today and I was thinking, oh, it, it could sound really rough, and I thought, well, that might actually sound really cool because it's gonna sound, I don't know, kind of just unfinished in a way. And I think that could be really exciting because the film itself is supposed to be a little gritty, a little dirty, and um, I half expect that this is going to work out in my favor. So I'm, I'm excited that we're going we're gonna to experiment with uh, some sonic, sonic, uh, sonicness. It's going to be very sonical. 
and come up with something fun. So that it's something kind of hard and kind of dirty. I think it's gonna be really cool. But it's got to be a build. It's got to be a the piece has got to. It's got to be a really strong build track. I want very different points to cut to. And I think that's going to really help drive the energy and tone of the piece. Other than that, on the crypto side, I'm still working out how I want to do the library review. I was watching over my Flix overview and it was, I could do a lot better, I think. It was sort of a vlog that I turned into a review. And I think that the next review could be more structured, maybe have some graphics to it. Uh, really kick up the production value a notch. I think I'm getting some confidence with doing the reviews. I just kind of really sit down and write out the script. But I'm hoping to tackle the library review next week. And then after that, I'm going to go for Steam. I've been using Steam a lot more lately. I've been posting everything to Steam. And I've been earning money for Changelings on the fly as people like my posts. That's part of what makes Steam really exciting for me. I think at this point I'm up to $20 out of the 17000 But I think that Steam has a lot of improvements that can be made. So it would be fun to go over Steam and why I think it's a really helpful piece of technology for... Uh, making changelings and for as a you know as an artist and for other filmmakers and writers why steam and something or something like it is, is going to be the future of uh, social networking but it's in such a beta mode and, and some of the apps are very alpha mode and so i think it'd be worth going over the shortcomings of steam as well i mean i always i always talk it up like it's the next best thing and, and i think it is i think it's i think steam is great it's a lot of fun i like running crypto the community there is very supportive over changelings so it's nice to have that feedback, something I don't really get on YouTube. I mean, in YouTube, I'm a small fish in a gigantic pond. On, on Steam, I'm a small fish in a small pond. So I do have a little more traction in that community there. So it's nice. It's nice to get some feedback and hear people's thoughts and how things are progressing. I can't really be objective and honest about it if I'm just going to talk about how amazing it is all the time. It does have its problems, and I do want to go over some of my favorite dApps. That's distributed application. I want to go over some of my favorite dApps, why I like them, what I think they could be improved upon, and um, you know, take you into the world of Steam and see what you think. So, anyways, that's it for tonight. Uh, I know it's a, only a small update, but it's all I have. Over the next few days, a lot more is going to be coming down the pipe that I'll be able to share with you. And uh, in any case, thanks for sticking around for the ninth episode of the 90 Vlog Marathon. Uh, have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.